So I've been a fan of Andy Worski for a little while now, and you know I've usually defended him when I thought that uh, you know he deserved defending him. I've criticized him when I thought he deserved to be criticized, but you know ultimately I always had his back, and I was like you know I always thought he was a decent guy, but you know over the past few days with the way he has treated some of his best fucking fans that he's ever had. You know, it really makes me think twice about Andy Worski and the type of person that he really is, right? Because, you know, I've always thought that he was not, you know, the, the brightest person or whatever and, you know, whatnot. And he, you know, said some spurgy shit and, and was very emotional occasionally. But, you know, I thought that was funny. And, you know, ultimately I thought, okay, you know, his heart's probably in the right place. He's not too much of a piece of shit. But... The way he recently came out and called uh, this girl Booberly, which was one of his moderators for a really long time. He's known her for a couple of years. She's been like a really uh, a f a f good friend to him. Uh, you know, she's stuck around through thick and thin with this guy. You know, uh, you know was was pretty much his shoulder to cry on when he came and like bitched and complained about the struggles that he's going through in his day to day life, running a YouTube channel or some bullshit. But you know, he comes out and uh, he's mad that she shared some messages that you know, proved that she wasn't a stalker, right? So now he's coming out saying that she re ruined his relationship with his uh, ex-girlfriend or whatever. And, you know, he's blaming her and he's blaming Tonka. Whereas, you know, it's like the, you know, the things that she was showing was just clearing up her name to show that, you know, uh, the only reason she contacted your girlfriend was to make sure you guys weren't going out because you were texting her booberly and you know saying stuff like hey i want to show you my dick uh, essentially right you know like sexting pretty hard back and forth and booberly noticed that you were liking or, or that sinead your ex-girlfriend now that dumped you because of apparently booberly or whatever uh, you know, she noticed that uh, Sinead was liking all of your tweets. So that is not really what an ex-girlfriend does to somebody that they just broke up with, right? So, you know, this led her to be like, oh, okay, I really want to continue with this. Andy and Andy's like, oh, okay, I understand, yada, yada, yada. And she never brought it up for months and months afterwards. And, you know, he's kind of coming up this narrative saying that, like, you know, she's saying she she gave the text to Sinead to prove or or to try to ruin my relationship or whatever. But it's like, no, man, if you're being called a stalker in front of thousands of people, what are you what are you going to do? Of course, you're going to release messages and DMs and people are like, oh, it's really petty for you to do that. Booberly. It's like, are you guys fucking stupid? And he did the same fucking thing uh, a little while ago, didn't he? Didn't he like record failure and or something in a conversation then release it you know he's released dms messages before in the past so it's like what, what the fuck are you guys talking about and for him i keep hearing the past couple streams like the one today you know he keeps lying about her saying oh fucking booberly fucking that and i'm just like holy shit for for somebody to turn on one of their best fucking fans like that somebody that you know has only been kind to him has only you know uh, defended him when people were making things up about him to to do that to her just to hide the fact that you're an unfaithful motherfucker is pretty fucking low man pretty fucking low and you know, if you see this video, you deserve to give Booberly a fucking apology. You need to make a fucking video about it. You need to do a whole stream about it and be like, yeah, I fucking lied. I'm a piece of shit. Because, you know, man, th this is how you alienate your audience, right? You know, you you pick somebody. Now, that, now you don't like them anymore and you say all this shit about them. And then you lose a chunk of your audience every time. And the way Andy is acting right now, it's only a matter of time before he boots Geek Thulu because Geek Thulu says a little bit too much. Like the stream I was listening to today with him on, he was like getting so mad at Geek because Geek was like 
trying to say some common sense to him. And he's like, oh, shut up, man. Let me talk. You know, it's like, calm the fuck down, man. Like, you're losing it. And he's going to keep losing it the more subs he loses. Right? You know, he had that little high for a little while ago. But what he doesn't realize is that is that was on drama. You know, you can't keep your, your channel th on drama. Right? It, it's going to dry up. And, and what he's doing now to talk about stuff on his channel, he's talking about his real life. He's bringing up Chris, who was his friend for something like 10, 12 years, and is saying he stole like $5,000 from him or whatever. Whereas, yeah, maybe that's true. But nonetheless, you shouldn't bring that up. You know, it, he was apparently your friend. You know, maybe you should let him say his side of the story. And I'm assuming, you know, we're, we're not hearing everything. I'm sure you probably misunderstood something. And now it's like, oh, this guy, he's fucking a chink and he stole things from me. He's a thief. He's a piece of shit. I never liked the guy. Right. So it's like, you know, it, it just it's interesting to see how quickly he turns on people. And like I said, to call Booberly a stalker and all this shit. When it was you being unfaithful, now he's like, Oh, Booberly broke up my relationship. She ruined with Sinead. <laughs> it's like the whole stream today. He's like, Oh, Sinead, she would always be like complain and she was needy. And she was always like, Oh, you need me to talk. You need me to do this. Blah, blah, blah. Sorry, I got a phone call. But it's like, Oh, Sinead, you do this, you do that. It's like, come on, man. It's like, it sounds to me like you did not want to be in a relationship with her to begin with. So why the fuck are you mad at Tonka or Booberly for ruining your relationship when you're like, oh, the best time, the most, the, when I made the most content and when my channel exploded was when I uh, broke up with Sinead for two months and it was great and I had my own life. So it's like, man, what, what the fuck is the matter with you? You know, if you keep this up, it's only a matter of time before your channel goes to shit. So, you know, I was just really pissed off of what he did to Booberly. You can call me a white knighting or whatever you want to do. But, you know, if, if you treat people like that who have been supportive of you since for at least the past couple of years, you know, that speaks volumes about your own character. So that's all I pretty much had to say. So if you like my content, subscribe and have a good day. See ya.